So because last uh, Sunday there was so much nectar coming from Godavani's reading and singing and then uh, I thought we can continue because you said also you would uh, speak about your bhajan that you do about this verse from Radha Ras Sudhaniti Gurudev. And today Gauravani was researching some more verses in this connection. How uh, Shimati Radhika is so special when she becomes Surata Rangarini. Yeah. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Yeah. Do you want to say something about the verse we had last time? I can I repeat it again. Have, we have to say something, bring there to me. So last time we were reading verse number 91 out of Radharas Sudaniri. O Shri Radhike. Uh, I just want to say that actually these are four verses which are connected. And Ananda Das Babaji is writing that from verse 90, the next four verses are all about the Rasa dance. And because we were at, in this theme of Rasa dance, I was actually choosing this verse last time. So we will be in this theme, Rasa dance. So last time we had 91. O Shri Radhike, your eyes are like sweet fishes that swim around in an ocean of rasa. Your eyes are like sweet fishes that swim around in an ocean of rasa. Aha, ha. very emotional here. Srila Prabhupada Anna is completely emotional, thrown away. Your breasts are like two chakravaka flamingos in the nectar lake of your body. Your breasts are like two chakravaka flamingos in the nectar lake of your body. Oh, Sura Tarangini, Ganga river of love. Oh, enjoyer of love play. Your face is like a blooming golden lotus flower. May the waves of your splendid mercy meet in me. So about this verse, we actually talked last time and Tarun Baba was nicely giving some points about Suran Tarangini Radha. And he was explaining that there's some deeper meaning. And in the next verses, we can also see that the Rasa dance is the the ground of the Lila, but Radharani and Mohan are actually also uh, leaving this place and in the end 
they are going in Kunsch. And this is described in these verses 90 to 94. So that's why they have a, a connection. So Anandadas Babaji is putting this out very nicely. When we read Anandadas Babaji's explanations, he always gives very nice hints how we can see this verse is connected. And he's always putting out the extraordinary characteristics of this wonderful, sweet, adolescent girl of Braj, our Radha. In his commentary, he is also giving the point, Radhika means the girl who is the greatest worshipper of Sri Krishna. Without her, without Raseshwari, the queen of the Rasa dance, the Rasa dance cannot give pleasure to Krishna. He is describing the glories of all the girls from Raj very nicely. He is writing in uh, verse number 90 in the explanation. It's actually from Vidyapati, a verse. Wherever her footsteps are, there are lotus flowers blooming. So wherever they put their feet, the lotus flowers are blooming. This is with the gopis mentioned, but especially here with Radharani, wherever she puts her feet, lotus flowers are growing and blooming. And wherever her body glistens, there are waves of electric lightning. This is remembering and the example which is given at Radharani is like a lightning strike, a steady lightning strike in a blue rain cloud, monsoon cloud. Her body glistens. There are waves of electric lightning. What wonderful golden girl I saw that entered my heart whenever she opens her eyes the lotus flowers become manifest wherever she smiles Nectar is distributed and wherever she casts her crooked glances, Cupid shoots thousands of arrows. By following, their beauty and sweetness even increases. Like a row of moons surrounding a moon.
So in verse number 92, there's another description. Actually, it's a verse from Chaitanya Charit Amrita. The gopis dance in a circle, and in the middle of that circle, the prince of Braj dances with Sri Dada. Sripad cannot find any comparison to Radharani's beauty that covers over the beauty and sweetness of all the other assembled gopis. Then he looks at Radharani's moon-like two nails and thinks, Even a drop of the beauty of these two nails cannot be attained by the other gopis. So what to speak of millions of goddesses of fortune from Vaikuntha? So all this is underlining why Radharani is called Raseshwari. In Uchvala Nilamani Stai 102 it's written When the thirst for the beloved becomes so deep that he becomes ever more dear at every moment, although that is already constantly experienced, that is called anurag. When the thirst for the beloved becomes so deep that he becomes ever more dear at every moment, although that is already constantly experienced, that is called anurag. Anurag unmayada, speciality. So mad, it's like mad anurag. It can also mean that Radhika is endowed with the greatest honor, which is constantly increasing. Srila Rupa Goswami describes that in his invocation of Dana Keli Kamuri 2. So that means here that Radhika, although she is endowed with the greatest honor, it is constantly increasing. It's not fixed. It's growing constantly. Why? Gurudev, you want to say something about this? Why? Why her honor is growing constantly? She always want to please Krishna. We're with her all limbs. From all feelings, what she has, she wants to give everything. And after that, she thinks that 
see not give sufficient more to give and more to give i am not able to give more than this see always is in this feeling very high feelings but after giving she not feel sufficient that she gave it how to serve more how to give more how to she not feel herself much qualified that she can be pleased with you. In ocean, her eyes is like a fish eye, you know, fish eyes how it happens. She is not staying in one place, moving all the time. Yes. More to do, more to give, where to get it. Her eyes is like a fish. Where to find something more to give you? Where you are to give you? Always only one such is there, one feeling, and continuous this is going. That is Surata Tarangam. Every moment is a new. New waves coming. <laughs> and not only she gave to Krishna only, she gave her Dasi also with her. That's uh, my Dasi also can. She is doing so much service. She will also can see this pastime and she can understand how she is anxious to serve his lover and to give the satisfaction in the heart. Of that. Our best, what is the name? What? Best? The Chakravaka Flamingos? What is the meaning of that? Yeah, what is the meaning of Chakravaka Flamingos in the nectar lake of? Her body. Yeah. This is the expression. The breast for the baby is very special. For the dasi. Is the only hope. Bacillaris cannot come without the breast of mother. 
And in the lake, the highest and topmost thing in that lake, love lake, is the mother breast for the Dasi. So Dasis are decorating the breast of mother because by the your breastfeeding, my spiritual life, my sarupavis is going. That is my center point. And uh, Krishna, as a lover, he said, this is my center point in your love lake. <laughs> Ocean of love. See, a whole body is every pore of the body is ocean of love. You imagine how, why she, her name is Allah Dhanisha. That is the meaning of Allah. <laughs> and see, this our poor is giving only, giving only, and giving only. Every mo every minute of the time, this new feeling creating that is the surata tanjani. Everything is very special. What is not possible to find any any circumstances. my spiritual eyes. I feel so fortunate, we feel so fortunate in our Sarupa ways that we got the chance to feel and be with her and to serve her. So beautiful, Buddha. I feel this is Anandam Buddhivadanam. With every step that she does, uh, that we are running behind her. Or we are running behind our Guru Manjari, our Dasi. There, then the flowers are blooming also in our hearts and the love is increasing. So, very beautiful, also, how you describe all of this. You see, the writing, they are also my Guru's. Mm. Dasi. And we are trying to practice that mind and heart. So what's first we have to see our practice in consciousness, the stage of my subtle powers, then what I will see to the breast is the my whole goal of life. You see small baby. 
to go on with the growing what is the hope of the life chakra was that what is the chakra chakravata flamingo yes flamingo for the baby is that flamingo mother bird a lover also this is the, this is krishna mood but manjari mood is my all hope is your mother best feeding if you not feed me if you not teach me if you not guide me i cannot grow for in my sarupa ways and manjari is also practicing every moment of her life how to increase more and more new new feelings that is also manjari learning from her sulata tar this all manjari bhav sadhana hai their person in our spiritual body in my sarupa ways in my king tree saru we have to meditate it and develop these feelings inside life if the eye is not like a fish we cannot find it out other eyes cannot see in the water but the fish eyes can see inside the water in the divine eyes she has the eyes to see everywhere so they are means that one point mind is what looking even the waves of ocean of the water this water is nothing is the love waves this is the ocean of the love <coughs> manjari is, is searching her mama radhika and radhika krishna is searching to radhika and who is the real radhika that is manjari dachi that was so guru dev if i understood right it's our big hope because radharani is always searching with her eyes how to 
fulfill all the wishes which even Mohan could not think about to him, but also she is always looking how her kinkeries can grow and get more near into that savor to her, right? Ask to any mother, <laughs> any lady who has a baby and who has a lover, how did this, they, they this will help them, herself. And here is the highest intense of that love. And these babies are not ordinary babies. They are associated in every circumstances to have real babies, sincere, pure, even the, who is not so pure mother here like this and give new, new taranga, new, new feelings, feelings every moment to that baby. It's a natural, it's a nature. And, and the, these are the manjaris are the baby of Radhika. So they can, babies can more glorify to mama in Bhatshari Rasa. And she gives the chance that she is more free to see and understand because she is free. Everything is pure to her. It's also divine person. We need the eyes like this to see in that divine ocean. So the Manjari as shadow from Radha has the same nature. So the Guru Manjari has also this nature. So we are in good shape because you will take even such fallen souls like me. Das Babaji is writing. And Das Babaji write this book in his Sarupavas. And we are listening. This is the grace of our Guru Manjari to go to so deep to realize it and to feel that we are shadow of Prajita. Mother shadows our baby. Babies are mother shadow. And even babies, they are the shadow. You once gave a very nice example of this mercy from the mother. You said that a lion mother is taking the baby in the mouth and taking it from a place where maybe some danger is to another place which is more safe. Even the baby doesn't want. In the same mouth where she could actually also bite.
totally surrendered. And monkey baby want to catch, but monkey baby when they fall down, mother never go and catch that baby because she she think that is unqualified. So we have to have totally surrender to her. You see the shadow, the nature of shadow is totally surrender to the Arjuna. Nothing to say, nothing to behave, only to accept that. Sad or nothing to do, only walking together, <laughs> never living, never they want to be separate, right? Yes, that's the point. Like you said, when you are going sad. in a plane. Existence shadow will finish if the is not near, near to original. Yes. Shadow, no shadow if the original is not there. No shadow. This is my little <clears throat> Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Yes. Karwani, may I please ask a question? Yeah. In the verse, in the verse, there comes a word which is very strange. It's uh, unmariada. And the translation says dignity. <clears throat> In German, we, do, we would say Wurde. It doesn't seem like this is something that Radha is worried about, that how, how people see her on, or how what sort of moral morality she has. She's worried about loving and nothing else. Do I, can you explain this word or say something about this word? Read the line. Uh, Unmuriyada pravarda pranaya raza mahambodi gambira lila. Unmariyada is this strange word. And in English, the translation says dignity. In German, it's Würde. No, we'll read the whole line huh? in English. What is the? Oh, sorry. Um, it's a jump. Radhika, who meets with her lover Sri Krishna, a drop of the splendor of whose single moon like toenail is desired for by millions of goddesses of fortune, whose limbs are gladdened by the deep swelling ocean of sweet, passionate love, full of ever-increasing dignity. That's the word, dignity. Whose prowess, whose strength is inaccessible even to Lord Brahma, accept me by giving me her mercy. So she has increasing yeah, well, dignity. Yeah. Yes, Brahma has to be in one etiquette. Because he's a creator, he has the rules and he has to follow the rules. Yeah. <laughs> Understand? So, so it's like religion. Why? Mm -hmm. Man who follow the rules for them is very difficult to understand. <laughs> because 
this is out of etiquette because this is no no meaning when etiquette works here here is the love is the highest hmm. when even the brahma and shiva cannot understand this uh, loving exchange hmm. because this not come to their format of etiquette right you said one word i understood gurudev so the yes. love is the love is bigger than the etiquette Yes. <laughs> so the, the own Moriyad is always growing over the rules, over the religion. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Radhe Radhe, thank you. Sarup always means we have to see everything in our sarup. That is the sadhana mandir. <coughs> At the same time, we are trying to serve the desire of my Swami. I always, baby, always want to serve to mother and watch for mother. This is so sweet training of Mandri and Radhika. I can. Unexpected because it's a divine relation. It's not changing. The baby is changing, mother changing, but this divine relation never changes. There's so many rules to uh, Gurudev in Sarika Deha, so many rules. And sometimes we need to forget mm -hmm. them. There's so many rules in material life. Yes. And we are only calculating the rules. Here only one greed, your greed to become like that. You are that. And to practice that. 24 7 to be in that consistence. Never deviate from that point. In any circumstances. Only to make, only to watchful that are you diverting from that? Are you diverting from that? Watching yourself. That is conscious. Watching means conscious. Yeah. That consciousness means Chaitanya. The Chaitanya and consciousness is one word. You do everything, but be conscious. And when you are conscious, you do in your eye, your sarupavas. Yes, what you fix for relation for that. So I say, roop and sanatan is more important. To in sadhak they had to fix it. My your relation.
साधक देहा इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड मोर मोर इंटरनल प्रैक्टिस रूप एंड प्रति या तुलसी प्रैक्टिस इज ऑन दी लव दैट इज That automatically is flowing. That is not the love will flow. Is the nature, but the real sadhana is rup sanatan means to develop my relation with you and rup means relation relation uh, with you and my soul. my identification and your identification you fix and do everything nothing will disturb us no change that in any circumstance but this relation guru dev it happens outside the rules you cannot have loving relationship uh, according to uh, etiquette can you you will, you have to surrender the rules yeah everything is surrender when you surrender really atmanivedanam here is atmanivedan atmanivedan means nothing i give myself my means without you nothing existence that is sanat atman ko pujan sakhi gan prabhu pad lai atman nivedan मैंने पूजन अरे वर्शिप और गुरु स्वर्ग और Pujan Sakhi and they are the worshipper and to the goal Atmani Vedan I offer myself I have nothing mine mine I have done myself not just my mind my Atma my my soul I offer my soul my whole being okay. yeah you say that body heart mind and soul. That you are body, heart, mind, and soul. Jai you say na. Bhaveer Ram. My one of the friend, Vaishnava Maharaj, he always say like this. I like this body, heart, mind, and soul. I offer to Jesus. That of heart. Here yeah, they are really not talking. You yeah, have to do it. Hmm. In West, when we talk surrender, we talk. Uh, we think uh, most often only body. I surrender. That means I give my body to jail or to the army. Or, <laughs> but we need to learn to think in terms of atma, in terms of soul and mind. Yeah, heart, mind, mind also. And so, so. She got it. She got it. No, why is it so easy? 
I, I was thinking how to do it in daily life, how to translate, to transfer the feelings of, the, of Swamini that she has to serve and the feelings of the Manjari to help her to serve and to support her service by her love. And, and, and I noticed that um, I have to always switch in my consciousness. And I think this is what you talk about when you say we have to be conscious. What would Swamini say? How would the Manjari react? It is first like a practice that seems to be a little bit strange because we are used to behave in a human way. But then later on, I feel it becomes uh, a habit that to see uh, between the lines. I don't know even how to express it. That this to problem, to me. What, Gurdi? This problem, what you're talking also in my practice comes to me. Acha? <laughs> then I feel myself my weakness of my relationship. Mm. Can you explain, Gurdiv? Like, uh, if I am giving only 50 percent to Swamini, then 50 percent I am giving some other place. So here, Atman Ivedan means hundred percent. Without risk you give. Then I start practicing like this. It's only decision taking things. Outside I behave for months. Before I outside is more important for me, and inside was formal. And I make outside formal that nobody can hide, know what I am doing. Inside I fish under person. It's all with the okay. And I start watching myself. When I escape from that, in my which word is escaping out, which action is escaping out, which uh, behavior and thinking comes to me to escape out, what dreaming is happening to escaping out, everything I am watching. Why I am out from that? You are observing what? yourself very closely, Gurudev. You are observing yourself in all aspects, in all your right. dream, in your thinking, in your speaking, in your action. You become observer and you tr you checking up your consciousness, right? Uh, I only not I no fight anything. Only observe myself. What is the problem to observe? <laughs> I'm not disturbing others. I'm not doing anything. I not talk. I observe all them. What I eat to have a dream come to me. Why I eat, what I do that. What I associate, I think that. And then I try to improve myself. I know you're always talking about rasa, Gurudev. Always you say rasa, ocho, very good. <laughs> <laughs> rasa and adharamita. <laughs> it's a deep, uh, a deep practice, Gurudev. It goes uh, beyond uh, anything <laughs> else. My dear, this is the real practice. If you any person who is spiritually developed, who is not a Brahmagyan, 
who is not jnani but a knowledge is gathering person who is not a yogi karmi pure bhakta they realize by this process <coughs> by doing they watching every moment themselves you cannot stop doing things you have a hand a body everything but you can watch full to that what is doing for some out of some Yes, and we have only two choices, Gurudev. For Swamini or out of just Swamini. <laughs> Not so complicated. Hmm. No. <laughs> when the goal is fixed, when relation is fixed, then no, no, no problem. But this should be hundred percent. Good when you have time, don't practice this. You whole day have to talk with people. That is the watching, huh? <laughs> when I not talk, I how I will check myself. <laughs> when I not do myself, I was sleeping twenty four hours, and who will check me? <laughs> I have to check myself in my behaviors. <laughs> What is my relation? That behavior is there or not? In the talking time, I forget that relation or not. I disconnect. Mean even if connected or not? Mm-hmm. After tonight, nice showing that trophy and run for that trophy or what? He is always always not Krishna. You know, you want this, you become Gopi. Come to me. I am doing so many things. <laughs> But my dear said no, <laughs> nothing. I want to be baby of my mama. I want to eat, eat from her hand. If she love me, she will give me breastfeeding. She will give me from her hand what she will give me. I am satisfied with her. She beat me. She no love me, but I will not leave her. This just happiness what she gave, I will accept this. I will not say to her, "Give me something more." Or she no better. Ma, mothers no better than anyone. How she can give? Do anything what is painful. We have no mind to understand, but she knows everything. What is best for me? That's <laughs> very beautiful, Gurudev. And I want to share another thing. When that's why I like to be in Vrindavan with the Vaishnavas, with all the dasis, because when we are together in the practice, then others' practice will come to me. I feel it, Gurudev, because when all of us are practicing together, then the exchanges become so sweet and so uh, uplifting. That All is a big. Right, it's a big difference, Gurudev, because uh, when I'm practicing myself or I try to do alone, then it's always a struggle. But like when I speak to somebody, let's say I speak to to uh, Gopika, 
And I feel, wow, she is talking from Dasi Bath. And then I get also enlivened. Yes, I should also practice to talk from this more. Vrindavan is a land would make easiest. What you cannot do in one year or five years in Germany, other place, in one day can be possible. Short Shortcut. Is there some vibration here? Or some magic power is there? And honestly, I say, it's a Guru Kripa, Guru Dev, Guru Man Manjari Mercy, or Radha Mohan Mercy, I don't assess, I cannot know, but Mughal Mandir become more all in a one tuning. I surprise. There nobody fight here, nobody do anything. Who comes for some working in India sometime now no, now no. But no Western are fighting. Other other no one fighting. Only they want to cooperate and help each other. Never I see here any conflict of Difficulty. What is this? Is something a special vibe is this? of mercy of Radham? Radhe Radhe Gurudev, I think this is actually the nectar lake of Radharani's body. <laughs> This is the love yes, because this is actually the steady love of Radharani who is giving this ground for that actually. Because when when we when will we change? When do we have the motivation to change our character? Usually people only try to do if they can have something out of it. So but if you're really in love you want to change. If you see that your lover is much more qualified than you, then you want to change. Otherwise, it's hard. <coughs> but on this base of love, in this lake of love, you will change. That's the point. You are right. And one thing, my dear, more you see, only you have to come in that lake. And lake coming means living in that circumstances. And then you do what is coming to you. When you have to live in the mercy, why you decide why? It's not that, not. Who are you to decide to? This has to be for me, and this is not mm. for me. What is coming to you is mercy for you, and try to be fixed and serve. Why, devi why make deviation? Why you think this has to come, then I will do, and this is not devotion, this is this, then again come to bodily consciousness. Mm. And it do what is happening and has to work. It's all of us, my mind has to be fixed one point. That not has to deviate. Do it. Who said to stop your job, stop this? Everything do normal life. But that time also mind has to be there. You have not to forget your identification, what you are. Hare Hare Gurudev, I have also something to share to your point. These yeah. are three steps. The first step, what I do every day, I pray for your blessings. The second, what I do is here written what you sent me, white 
of black. My dear, we have to always see my identification as kinkari. Rada dasi means what can I do for you? So that means for me, how can I make Radharani happy? So by your blessings, I try to integrate Radharani in my day. Whatever I do, whatever I think, whatever action I perform, I try to involve Radharani. And the third point, I uh, have here a verse from Vilapakusmanjali, first um, 57, in the purport, uh, Sri Ananta Das Babaji he gives a quote from uh, Sri, Pat Hari, uh, Sri Haripat Shila. This is my loving verse from all books of Sri Ananta Das Babaji, and this relates what you say. I read also the Sanskrit. The Sanskrit is so wonderful and self-explaining. Hey, Devi Nivedana, Tomara Sukha Sadan, Ekanta Hoyeche Moramana, E Diana, E Chapa, E Vrata, E Tapa, E Mora Dharma Karma. So translation, oh Devi, oh Radharani, this is my prayer. To make you happy is the only wish in my mind. This is my meditation. This is my chapa. This is my wow. This is my austerity. This is my religious principle. And now I came to your point. Urava, this is my duty. So that's these steps helps me every day to go for. But the basic for all of this, for all realizations that I can make is your blessings alone, Gurudev. This is the power which you give to me. So thank you for your attention that I want to share. Thank you, Radi Radi. No, One not. thing I request give this a sloka, but you like it in Radha, uh, Radha Darshan, that everybody can meditate on that. It's a very good sloka. It's in Bangla, not in uh, Sanskrit. This is very nice sloka. This is very good for meditation. Read again this is slow. Also Sanskrit Gurudev? Yes, yeah, Sanskrit. Mm. It's a Bangla, I can say Bangla. Hey hey Devi. Ah, sorry, sorry, excuse me. Hey Devi Nivedana. Tomara Sukha Sadani Ekanta Hoyeche Moramana E Diana E Chapa E Vrata E Tapa E Mora Dharma Karma O Devi this is my prayer to you. To make you happy is the only wish in my mind. This is my meditation. This is my chapa. This is my woe. This is my austerity, my re religious principle, and my Duty. Radi Radi. Now, one thing more, Bansi Prabhu will say, 2215. Can you read and say? No. One. Radha Rasudhan. 
Rani. We read every day. Banshee Prabhu is so merciful. He teaches me every day that. Mother Rani. Radhe Radhe. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay. What is the use to us of holy books? The path that they show, even if they are followed by great saints, if they don't carry the nectarious glorification and description of Sri Radhika, mm -hmm. yeah. who is love personified. Aha, ha, what the use of all the luxury of Vaikuntha to us if my Radhika is not there. Mm -hmm. Just let my sweet aspirations for she Rat, Rata's playground for Indavan remains with me even after millions of births. <laughs> Two fifteen. Only this seventeen million. Two seventeen. 